Good morning, folks. Got a couple relevant things to be watching with our star today. We've got news on Mercury and across the world, but first, let's come to spaceweathernews.com and check out the last day on our star. The north, central, and departing northern quadrants were active from about the middle of the day onward, producing one tremendous CME from the limb as a filament snaking around the departing active regions lifted and released fiery solar tsunami left in its wake. There may be some small ejecta from the central grouping to the left of that, but the main injection was indeed the filament, bright plasma on the coronagraphs. The Enlil spiral shows the blast will miss our planet, a little yellow dot is Earth. It did, however, briefly surge charge particles our way as seen in the proton flux. Solar flaring is well up from the doldrums of the past week, but still no M-class events. Even the upticks we do have appear not at all to be due to the incoming sunspot that dwarfs the other umbral coverage on the disk. Up north, those C-class flares and tiny surge events may have destroyed the flare-making potential there, only slight hints of mixing remain. Absolutely nothing thus far from the big guy. Solar wind here, yellow speed, rose consistently, but there were no sharp jolts or super intense readings, so just a touch of magnetic stability in Earth's magnetic shield is all that was noticed last night. That's important because we had wondered if that stream would produce geomagnetic storms that could steal the quake spotlight from the trans-equatorial portion of this coronal hole when it faces Earth soon. Thus far, it appears it will not produce storms, and our prediction app scoring has got to finally be peaking today, right? Either way, it's one more day until the extension hits center longitudes, and in the meantime, we've taken an odd quake in Egypt, follows a strange OLR signature there earlier this weekend, a near six-pointer in the West Pacific as well. Top news starts here. Folks, this is a topographical map of Mercury. NASA, USGS, and various universities collaborated to put it together, and one imagines the hunt for electrical formations should probably begin. Either way, it's an amazing animation. Summer forecast for Europe is out. More storms in the center of the continent with warmer conditions favoring Greece and the areas to the east. We've got twin Earth spots in the Indian Ocean. Northern storm is a cyclone candidate. Those colder temperatures we warned about last week arrived and all-time record cold marks fell or were matched across a large portion of the Midwest. That cell is moving across New England now while the rains coming from the western system are getting to flood-soaked parts of the south today and overnight. Folks, we are featuring the Human Health and Electromagnetism section today at SuspiciousObservers.org. How does space weather affect you? Click premium in the menu bar, then scroll down to humans and EM. Membership is all of $4 and you get hundreds of hours of material. Pressure and radar forecasts continue across the pond down under and in the South Atlantic, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the New Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.